Hey everybody, it's time for Main Things to Do, and I know what you're thinking. You're asking, where's Sam? Where's Sam? Why do we have this cheap substitute? Believe it or not, Sam had the audacity to take vacation in Maine in summer. I'll be talking to HR about that. That will not be happening again. The good news is we've got fun stuff to talk about, including topics that touch on pie, ice cream, baseball, and an all-you-can-eat buffet. So let's get to the events that are coming up this week. We'll begin with one on the 3rd, which is Wednesday, the day before the 4th, as Sam would say. Notice how I did that? It's the 14th annual Ellsworth PEO pie sale. Kirk, what did the philosopher Homer Simpson have to say on this topic? Mmm, pie. Yes, he did. It's happening from 9 in the morning to 11 in the morning. Gluten-free pies are available, as well as summertime favorites such as strawberry, blueberry, strawberry rhubarb, apple, pecan, quiche, and more. Kirk, what's your favorite pie? Apple, no question. He loves his apple. He's told me that before. On to Thursday the 4th in Augusta, a main capital 4th. It's a concert at the Augusta Civic Center. It goes from 3 to 5. Free parking and free admission. You can't beat that. On Friday, a summer cookout in Saco. This goes from 5 to 8. It's sponsored by the Ferry Beach Retreat and Conference Center. It's on the beach. There will be live music, family games, activities, and the aforementioned all-you-can-eat cookout. Now, you do need tickets. you got to get those through the Ferry Beach Retreat and Conference Center website. But, hey, did you expect to get an all-you-can-eat thing for nothing? On Saturday, a strawberry festival in Wayne. This is the fifth year they've been doing it. It goes from 9 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. You can enjoy plenty of strawberry goodies, music, food trucks, and this sounds interesting, the cardboard boat race. Cardboard boat race. I'd suggest you bring your own life jacket. Also on Saturday in Kennebunk, a 19th century baseball game. You may have heard how these things work out. You got two teams playing baseball according to the rules from the 1860s when the game was invented and the players will wear wool uniforms. So if there's a heat index of something like 100, that'll be real fun to be in that nice scratchy wool. Finally, also on Saturday the 6th, the Thompson Ice House Ice Cream Social. This is in South Bristol, goes from 12 to 3. Homemade ice cream and entertainment. Kirk, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Peppermint stick. Oh, I had peppermint stick just about a week ago. It was so good. Hadn't had it for so long. The Thompson Ice House Ice Cream Social. No promises on whether they'll have peppermint stick. We're not saying that. But we are saying that all donations go to help preserve the Thompson Ice House and Pond, which is a really cool place. That's Main Things to Do for this week. If you've got ideas for events that you'd like us to talk about, you know what to do. Go to this address, send in your events, and we will try to put them on the air. We'll get as many on as we can. Sam York, I hope you're enjoying your vacation. And Sam, if you're bored on this vacation, it's your own darn fault.